Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making onion bhajis. So this recipe is super quick and easy and really great for trying to recreate that takeaway curry vibe at home. Um, and the amazing thing about it is it uses plain flour. Traditional onion bhajis actually use gram flour or chickpea flour, which is a little bit difficult to come by in uh, traditional supermarkets. So this is amazing for using um, all of these kind of pantry ingredients that you already have. Um, so let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we wanna slice four um, red onions. What you want to do is chop off the tops and slice it in half. And we're just going to slice these into finely sliced half moons. So just peel off the skins, finely slice some half moons. Now you don't want to make these too fine because otherwise they'll just disappear in the, um, in the barge. You want a little bit of texture, but you want them quite fine. Okay, so that's our onions chopped. Wow, they're pretty strong, I am crying here. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is create the batter for um, the bhajis. And this is a really simple batter, so don't worry. Um, we first got 150 grams of plain flour. Um, and then we have two teaspoons of turmeric, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of cumin powder, one teaspoon of paprika, and one teaspoon of, um, what the hell is this? One teaspoon of ginger powder. So if you don't have all of those spices, don't worry. Um, the only things you really need are the two teaspoons of turmeric and two teaspoons of garlic powder. Everything else is kind of extra. Those are the main core spices you're gonna really need. So now we have our um, spices and flour in there. I'm just gonna grab a whisk and just incorporate those so we just get them evenly distributed, like so. And then I've got 170 ml of just plain water, which I'm just gonna add in bit by bit. And then we just whisk it in. So once all the water is absorbed up, we just add a little bit more. And again, just add the last bit in. And the reason we're doing this is just so we don't get a lumpy batter. You can add in all of the water at once. Um, however, you just get, you'll get the lumps in the batter, which isn't, to be honest, a deal breaker. It's just, I prefer a bit of a smoother batter. And then you should end up with a pretty thick batter. This is a bit thick. I'm gonna add just a little touch bit more water. So I'm just adding probably about another 20 ml in there. But you do want a really quite thick batter and I'll show you why in a sec. Because you want this to combine and keep all the, the onions together. So you want it kind of like a glue. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So that's what you, what you really want. So don't be afraid to add a little bit more water or take a little uh, water out if your batter isn't the consistency you want. So now we've got the batter, what you wanna do is just add in the red onions directly in there. And then using a spoon, a wooden spoon or whatever you have, you just wanna turn these round and break up the break up the on red onions so that they're distributed around the batter and you don't have any large clumps. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Um, so that's kind of what you wanna see. No real um, onion pieces with any batter left out. You want them all coated in that batter. So I'm just gonna put this over here. Whoops, it's all going a bit crazy. Um, and now I'm just gonna grab a 
tray and we're going to put the biologies on there. So you can use just any kind of oven tray or any tray that you have lying around. It really doesn't matter. It's just going to be so we um, organize the bhajis before they get fried in the oil. So don't worry if you don't have the appropriate tray. You can use whatever you want. You can use a plate if you want. And so what we're going to do is just using a normal dessert spoon, we're just going to take a bit of the mixture and just place it on a, as a blob on the, on the tray. Now your hands are going to get a bit messy here, so don't be afraid to get involved. You really want to get as much of the batter as you can in these kind of clumps because that's what's going to ultimately hold the badgies together at the end of the frying. So I'm going to make probably about nine or so badgies here. Um, you can make them smaller or larger depending on how you want to eat them. Um, in general, I'd say this recipe normally makes about 12 badgies, um, but it's really up to you. Okay, so we've made there nine uh, evenly sized bhajis. Again, you can make them as big and small as, or small as you want. Um, I've just gone for this size because I quite like a, a bit of a chunky bhaji. Um, I'm gonna wash my hands and then we're gonna start frying. Okay, so now for the fun part, um, we're gonna start frying these bhajis. So I am going to heat about 400 ml of vegetable oil here. Um, depending on what kind of pan you use, you can use less or more. Um, what you really need is uh, enough oil to coat about half of the bhaji thickness. Um, you wanna shallow fry them. Um, so yeah, depending on if you use a smaller pan, reduce the oil. If you use a larger pan, uh, increase the oil. So I've got about 400 ml here. Okay, so we're gonna heat the pan on a medium to high heat. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a small piece of um, red onion coated in batter, and I'm gonna place it in the center of the oil. And this is gonna be, for me, a, a kind of temperature check or a thermometer, if you will, for the oil. Once that piece starts to bubble and spit quite vigorously, we know the oil is hot enough. Now, you can just use a candy thermometer or some kind of other th um, cooking thermometer to tell when the oil is hot enough. Um, I would recommend probably about 170 degrees centigrade, but most people don't have, um, to be honest, candy thermometers lying around in the house and this method works just fine. So feel free to use the kind of bootleg version of a candy thermometer, if you will. Okay, so it's been about, um, two uh, minutes or so and you can see now that the oil is now hot enough to begin frying and um, we've got bubbles and the the piece of red onion is starting to move around the surface of the oil so that's hot enough for me to start frying i'm just going to remove this piece and we'll just dump in our bhajis so what you'll want is um, some kind of metal spatula i've got a um a fish slice i think it's called um here which works really well uh, any other metal spatula will do fine. Would uh, avoid using some kind of plastic one because it will probably melt in the, in the oil. So we're going to take about four to five of these bhajis at a time and fry them in the hot oil. So you just want to scoop them up and try and keep as much batter as you can because again that's what's going to keep the, the bhajis together and place them into the hot oil. And again, your, your hands are gonna get messy, so I'd recommend having a towel on hand. And when your, your bhajis are in, we just want to um, gently flick them with oil with a, a metal spoon or something you might have lying around. And then we're gonna keep cook each side for about one to two minutes, turn it over and cook the other side. So it's been about two minutes now. So I'm just gonna turn these over and, and uh, fry the other side. Let's check how they're looking. Yeah, so they're looking pretty good.
And there you can see that um, and nicely browned and cooked on the other side but not, not burnt or, or uh, black. Um, as you turn them over, again just be sure to flick them with a little bit of oil. Okay, so it's now been another two minutes and I'm just going to check, just quickly turn these over and make sure they're cooked on the other side. And it, it looks good. Yep, looks all perfect. And so now what, what, I want, what I'm going to do is um, just grab another oven tray or whatever uh, thing you're going to plate these on. And we're just going to grab them and put them into the clean tray. And um, we're going to immediately salt these. You want to salt these quite heavily and as I said immediately so that the fat kind of takes them in and they get an even coating. All right and then we're just going to repeat that process for the rest of the onion bhajis um, until we've got a full cooked batch. So it looks like the rest of these bhajis are done. Just grab them out. Don't forget to salt them. There we go. Okay guys, so that's it. I hope this recipe has shown you how super easy it is to make um, onion bhajis at home. So don't be intimidated next time you wanna make your own kind of takeaway um, for a Friday night or something at home. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching. Bye.